Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As always, let's start off the episode seeing how the last race went and then let's see where we're headed next. So in Las Vegas, we got a career best of 17th place. We've only run three races, but hey, we're getting better each time. And with that 17th place finish, we have now moved up to 27th in the points. If you remember, our season goal is to finish top 35, so we're in a position to do that if we can just keep running about as well as we are. So this episode will start with our first race in the month of March. We're going to be running Atlanta Motor Speedway. If you remember, last episode we did purchase a slight motor upgrade at the end of the episode. So, we actually might have a bit of speed. Um, I did already adjust the gearing, and I might have adjusted a bit too much. As you can see, we're hitting the shift light before we get into the corner. So, that is probably an adjustment I am going to make, but... We might not be the slowest car on track. I did also add a good bit of grill tape, so I think I might need to back that off a smidge. Cause yeah, if we're 220 exiting the corner, it's a little, little much. So I'll back that down. I'll back the gear change down a little bit. And then uh, work on the rest of the car setup. So with very limited adjustments, the car actually does feel pretty solid. Um, I might still need to back the gear off a smidge more because the better I get the car, the faster I'm going to be going off the corners. So I don't want to uh, over rev this thing. But it seems the corner Oh, we're fine. It seems to corner all right, as long as I don't touch the apron, but... Yeah. Let's adjust a little more. Looks like we didn't hit the shift light going into the corner, which I think is a pretty good thing. So I believe I've got the gear about where I want it. Might have uh, tapped the wall a bit there, but everything's fine. Would definitely work on uh, running straight <laughs> down the back stretch and uh, not running into the wall, but the setup feels all right. Just ran our best lap. funny because the last mile and a half which was Las Vegas last week the car was really tight to start and I had to adjust to make it loose enough to drive whereas here I've made very little changes and the car might still even be a bit loose but hey we're getting faster which is definitely a good thing I'm pretty happy with how practice has gone so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and qualify and uh, hope we've got a good piece for the race. Kenseth ran a 29.8. Wow. Okay, so we're not going to be very fast, but the car feels stable. I'm okay with that. Go, 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 go. 
feel like I got a pretty good run out of four, so let's see what kind of lap we can throw down. Car definitely wiggles a little bit, but that's fine. Everything is fine. Definitely overcooked it a bit into three, so had to lift a lot out of uh, out of four. Right, Thirty-two three, so we have run a little faster in practice, but. Still fairly solid. I have a good feeling we're going to start about mid-pack. Okay, 27th, so a little worse than, uh, than I expected. But we get to start on the inside lane. So, good enough for me. All right, let's hope they remembered to uh, pay Alan for his voice. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. I'm Alan Bestwick. This ultra-modern multi-purpose venue has become the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit. 24-degree banking around the mile-and-a-half quad oval serves as a slick, super competitive racetrack. Some of you might remember, some of you might not, but I took a couple friends to Atlanta last year for the truck and Xfinity races in the spring. Now, obviously, new Atlanta is a lot different than old Atlanta, but it's a fun video. You should check it out. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So we've got a 42 lapper. Oh, we are. You're three wide. We are slow. Okay, 14 laps of fuel per tank. So that's three entire fuel rows. That is. That's gonna cut it close. So we definitely have to uh, be a little Clear easy high. on the throttle here. And we did drop back four positions on the first lap, so we're gonna try and get a couple of those back. All clear. On the right side, the car does feel pretty good, um, even with that little bit of aero deficiency, but. I will be interested to see how the fuel economy plays out for us versus everyone else. Last race, we definitely Hello looked there. like we were in a bad spot <laughs> fuel-wise towards the end of the race, but All clear. we'll see here if the tires even last, because old Atlanta was a very abrasive surface, and tires wore out real quick here, so... It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Good sir, there. I am there. Just because you won't drive through the grass to pass doesn't mean I won't. Clear high. So we've made it back to 28th. We're almost back to our starting position. Looks like somebody's already in the pits. Interested to uh, see if he maybe just cut a tire or if he's out, out. So we are already making the right front a little angry. 
but that's okay. Everything's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, uh, let's... Thank you. I about to say, let's not clip the apron. Very glad we did not end up in the wall there. It looks like we're kind of in a limbo. Ken Schrader's staying about a second in front and Spychala's staying about a second behind. So don't really know if we're gonna move much during this run. Um, and based on how great I am at pit road entry, I don't know if we are going to uh, do very well there. But it'll be interesting to see if we get some cautions and how people play the strategy. Definitely getting a bit tight on corner exit, which is always fun to deal with. I think we are finally starting to cash these guys. I had to guess they might be backing it down a little bit just to conserve those right side tires, but conservation is not my style of driving. Still there. Except for all those times that I won fuel mileage races. All clear. I think at this point I probably Oh, there's a wreck you say. Is that a caution worthy wreck? Or is everybody fine? Still there. Clear I guess low. I guess everyone's fine. I'm definitely going to try and run until I'm basically out of fuel. I don't want to get stuck a lap down from pitting early if a caution does happen to come out. Fine. Everything's fine. Low on fuel. We're in the lead. Too bad we're not going to lead a lap because we're going to have to go pit, but. Oh well. Yeah, we hit zero, so... Oh, buddy. Slow down. 
Oh, I thought we were fine. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were fine and then we weren't. Man, that extra damage is definitely not going to help us, but... Oh well. Yeah, that 10 seconds of repair time is definitely going to hurt us a little bit, but uh, it happens. Dale Jarrett going low definitely uh, did not help when I was trying to enter. So yeah, we were 25th before the pitting cycle. And now we are a lot worse than that. Oh no. We're fine. Just heating up the tires. Yeah, as I thought, we're a lap down. The uh, slowness of that cycle certainly didn't help us out. But oh well. Car high. Sorry, Dale. The car seems to be driving terrible now, and the only only thing I did different was add a little tape, which should have just helped with Carlo. front down force, but whatever. There's a wreck in turn three. The yellow's out. Yellow's out. Fantastic. So we're trapped a lap down. There are. I don't know. T 22 laps to go. So definitely more than a fuel cycle. I feel like there's no reason to pit, but. Okay, that's the halfway mark. If, cars out. if the leaders pit. In theory, we should get a lap back, but the wave round doesn't really work in this game, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem worthwhile to pit, but I don't know what to do. Going green. There's the green flag. So I don't know what in the world happened during the pit cycle, but I pit and I am in the top 20. I guess there's like Car six high. cars You're three wide. on the lead lap. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, we're fine. Oh, everything's fine. Oh, it's all fine. Uh, uh. 
this game never ceases to amaze me. Never. I guess I just hit again and hope that, uh, hope that we have enough fuel to make it. Going green. There's the green flag. Carlo. They reckon? Oh, he's fine. Still there. All clear. The yellow's out. There's a wreck in turn four. Oh, they're wrecking more. Okay. Car high. So I bonked the nose again, so I feel like I should probably pit again. Still there. Clear high. You're all clear. Yeah, I'm gonna pit over the best. I think almost the entire field is pitting. <laughs> it looks like four cars. Four cars didn't pit. Everybody else is pitting. All right, bucket heads, let's go. Two tires. This doesn't even take long. Yeah, let's go. All right. So we're in the top 20. Who knows what lap we're on, how many laps down we are. Timing and scoring in this game is a joke. OK, 11 laps to go. Let's get this puppy restarted. Now the other four guys are pitting. What in the world? Ten laps to go. So I think now that we've hit ten to go, we're going to be starting behind the leaders instead of next to them. It'll be interesting to see how many guys are on the lead lap and uh, in what position we might be able to make it up to. So I think we're coming back green with eight laps to go is going to be my guess. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. <laughs> Okay, lights are off of the pace car. So I think we're going green next time by. And there's quite a few damaged cars around me, so I think we have a chance to make up a couple. The pace car is off. All right, pace car is off. Time to make some passes. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. Oh, come on. Bonked the nose again. Still there. Car high. Come on, turn. No, Robbie. All clear. No. Oh, uh, uh. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, Car my high. gosh. Oh, my tires are so overheated. <laughs> it just did not turn going into there. three. Okay, can someone give me some room? This is ridiculous. You guys are jerks. Hold your line, clear high. 
bunch of jerks. That's a great lap. Still there. Hold your line. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we're junk. Oh, we're so junk. Oh, the tires aren't what I thought. I guess a couple cars just go. came into pit. Wow, we're getting spots from people going into the pits, I guess. Ooh. Oh, pick. Pick a lane! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose more spots because of that. The 36 car is headed into the pit. You're three wide. Oh, yeah, we're broke now. Oh, boy. You'd think, like, if you blow a tire, get out of the way? Am I just insane for thinking that? Like, no, I flew up and smacked the wall. Let me just hang out in the middle of the road. That seems like a nice place. Just middle. It's nice there. Two to go. Why are people pitting? Also, even after all this tomfoolery, I'm Hello. still not going to get a top 20 because of Mike Wallace just plowing through. Or me plowing through Mike Wallace. Carlo. Oh, bud. Stay high. Still there. Last lap. Oh, the car is so junk. Goodness. Stay low. Still there. Oh, come on, eight turns better than four. We're still gonna lose the spot. Oh my goodness. All clear. We'll get him next time. <sighs> well, that was a very interesting 22nd place finish. <laughs> Uh, it says only nine caution laps, but I feel like half the race was under caution. Just ridiculous. But hey, we finished in relatively one piece. Um, let's see what kind of what kind of points we got. So we only had nine cars finish on the lead lap. Uh, I wish we uh, didn't have those troubles the last few laps because I think we easily could have finished top 20, but 22nd place, still fairly solid. And now we see if we made any money. And look at that, we're in the green two weeks in a row. Let's go. What a race. With Matt Kenseth's victory at Atlanta, Austin Cannon is in 28th place, 276 out of first place. However, back in 28th place, Cannon and crew have a bit more work to do before they can start thinking about the lead crown. First of all, 
Why would you mention 28th place two sentences in a row? Seems redundant, doesn't it? NASCAR Heat Weekly really needs to work on uh, finding some new writers. So yeah, there's the results. Looks like Kenseth, Labani, Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, and Elliot Sadler are your top five. We finished 22nd, right in the middle. One lap down, 28th in the points. Still, the money was green. I think that's all we can really pray for at this point. So I was looking at some of the upgrades at this point, I really think arrow-wise, we definitely have some room to improve. So this upgrade will still leave us with about $100,000, which should be an okay buffer if we have a couple bad weekends, but it'll increase our front and rear downforce, lowers our drag a little bit, and lowers the weight a little bit. I do feel like that little bit of a motor upgrade helped us at Atlanta, so you know going into uh whatever comes next i think it might not be a bad idea just to give us that little bit of extra help in the aero department with that upgrade i'm going to hop into the calendar real quick just to see what race we have coming next and next week we will have darlington raceway this is generally the throwback weekend the spring darlington race I might have something special planned, so you'll want to tune in next week, promise. And with that, we have finished off another episode. I just want to say thank you for watching the video, hit like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not, and leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.